order. I'm going to read a few things first. Turn the mic on. Oh, excuse me. Turn the mic on. That'll be good. This special meeting agenda, Tuesday, November 15th, 2022, 5.30 p.m. City of Riverbank, regular city council and local development authority board meeting, council chamber 6707 3rd Street, Suite B, Riverbank, California. Notice this meeting will be held in accordance with California Government Code Section 59453, Subdivision E of the Ralph M. Brown Act, California GC 54950, ET Sequi, the Federal Americas with Disabilities. While this meeting will be physically open to the public, given the state of the emergency regarding the threat of COVID-19, members of the public may also participate and comment via the Zoom virtual platform. Refer to the last page of the agenda for participation information. Call to order. And everybody, the flag please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. Roll call. Council Member Uribe. Here. Council Member Hernandez. Here. Council Member Barbara Martinez. Here. Vice Mayor Campbell. Here. Mayor O'Brien. Okay. I don't believe there are any agenda changes either. Okay. And any conflict of interest, any council authority member or staff who has a direct conflict of interest on any scheduled agenda item to be considered is to declare their conflict at this time. Public comments, no action can be taken. At this time, members of the public may comment on any item not appearing on the agenda and within the subject matter jurisdiction of the city council LRA board. Individual comments will be limited to a maximum of three minutes or as stated by the presiding officer and time cannot be yielded to another person. Under state law, matters presented during the public comment period cannot be discussed or acted upon. Refer to the last page of this agenda for the public comment procedures via Zoom. Item seven. Oh. Come up to the mic. Hi, how's it going today? Um, my name is Brett Delmas. Um, I've been a resident here since 2015. Um, I've been visiting here since before that. I really love Riverbank. Um, I'm here to maybe talk about opposing the proposed tax for the sewer. Um, I remember in 2015 when I moved here, actually, I was, I was actually living with my spouse's uh, parents. And so when we doubled the tax, then it's not like it was life changing, um, but I do remember the conversation within the household. Um, I'd like to speak on the fact that Riverbank is a small community. Um, we, are, we are small business owners, sole proprietors, uh, laborers, teachers. Um, there's a lot of retired people in the community as well. Um, not to mention, you know, the families. And, and I mean, we all see, you know, what, What's going on really with, uh, with like food bills and things like that, everything is going up. And, and I think that what I'm trying to say is that with all that, we have a lot of voices that really need to be heard on such an important situation, such as a double of, of a tax. And while, you know, um, $50 a month doesn't look like a lot more, it, it's $600 or up to $900 more than what people are paying down the road, say a rip in. Um, you know, there's, there's other communities here. I know that we're middling right now, but, but I digress. I think that if we were to pass this without taking a vote, that that would not be representing the constituents of Riverbank because the people of Riverbank are gonna be heavily affected by that decision. Things like social security don't come up with more money. Struggling families, $600 is Christmas, $600 is, is the, uh, the car breaking down so I can get to work. 
Um, it's a big deal. It's a big deal. I'm really concerned as a member of this community that I've only heard about this since this morning. You know, there's not a lot of information being thrown around about this, and I don't think that it's fair to the people living here. I know that it, it's, it's in our interest to expand, and we want to be able to provide good services for people, but I think that it needs to be voted on, and I think it needs to be taken really seriously. And in this case, I don't feel it has been. Thank you. Thank you. Any other comments? Okay. New business, item 7.1, a resolution to approve an employment agreement between the city of Riverbank and Cody Bridgewater as director of public works, interim Riverbank local redevelopment agency director and authorize the city manager to execute the agreement. It is recommended that the city council consider adopting a resolution which will approve an employment agreement with Cody Bridgewater as director of public works. Good evening, Vice Mayor and Council Members. Uh, just to give you a little bit of background, our current Director of Public Works, Interim RLRA Director, Michael Rydell, who has um, provided service to the city over the past 11 years, uh, did submit his intent to retire as of December 16th of this year. Um, with that, although we are very sad to lose all of the knowledge that he has, um, I think tonight you're going to find that um, through the recruitment that we did with the assistance of Mosaic Public Partners um, and the interview that we held, that our recommendation to you uh, to hire Mr. Cody Bridgewater, um, who was selected as the finalist from that recruitment, um, is going to fill those shoes, um, empty shoes that uh, Michael will be leaving. Just to give you a little bit of background on Mr. Bridgewater, um, his education consists of an AA in elementary teaching um, with the Bachelors of Applied Science in Water Resource Management. Um, he holds a variety of certificates and licenses which will come in handy, um, particularly those that are related to our wastewater treatment and water treatment and distribution. His previous experience, he does currently come to us from the city of Oakdale, um, where he is the wastewater, uh, excuse me, he was formerly the wastewater treatment plant supervisor um, and is currently now the public works superintendent. And so the terms of the agreement, uh, we have an effective date of December 2nd, 2022, which would be Mr. Bridgewater's first day of employment with the city. Um, we're looking at a three-year term from that effective date with a base salary of $142,574.88. So he would be starting at step A of the new director of public works salary range. Uh, he would be receiving an out-of-class pay of 7% of his base salary for his interim RLRA director assignment um, for all the work being done out at the Riverbank Industrial Complex as we continue to work through um, the potential conveyance of the property to the city of Riverbank. Uh, his review and evaluation is to be conducted in December of each year, um, which would then make him eligible for merit increases of up to 5%. Uh, healthcare benefits, he would receive the same healthcare benefits as our Layuna bargaining unit um, and would also pay 15% of his premium cost for his medical insurance his vision and dental would be covered 100% by the city as is consistent with all other city employees. Uh, he would also be eligible for a city uh, paid life insurance of $50,000. A deferred compensation. So this is a voluntary program um, that Mr. Bridgewater can subscribe to. Um, should he choose to participate, we would match up to $100 per pay period. Uh, he would be a participant of our CalPERS retirement system. He is already in the CalPERS retirement system through his employment with the city of Oakdale. Um, so he would be enrolled in our classic plan um, and he would contribute 7% of the employee contribution. 
um, vacation. He'll be entitled to 20 days of vacation um, with a accrual cap of 400 hours of leave. Uh, consistent with other city employees, he would also accrue sick leave um, at the rate of one working day for each month. Um, he'd be eligible for holiday pay for our 13 observed holidays, um, and then would have three floating holidays to use throughout the year. Uh, he's also eligible for 80 hours of executive leave um, that he'll receive at the beginning of each fiscal year and can be cashed out if it's not used. Uh, he'll have the ability to have a city vehicle at his disposal. Um, the city would also be responsible for paying any professional or educational development, um, particularly as he will need to take continuing educational classes um, to maintain his certifications. And then longevity upon um, eligibility based on his tenure with the city, which we hope will be a very long one, um, he will become eligible for a longevity pay at that point in time. And so our recommendation for tonight is that the city council consider adopting the resolution which will approve the employment agreement between the city and Mr. Bridgewater, um, who has accepted to become our new director of public works interim RLRA director. Are there any comments from the public? Thank you. I will bring it back to the council. So Vice Mayor, prior to your vote, I would like to introduce Mr. Bridgewater formally and okay. see if he has any comments he'd like to make directly to great. council today. Good evening, Vice Mayor, Council. I'm excited to start my employment with the city here on the 2nd of December. Uh, I look forward to the days ahead and being able to provide to the city that I currently live in. I've lived here since 2009. Uh, parents graduated from Riverbank High School. Grandfather actually worked at the wastewater treatment plant here in the city of Riverbank a long time ago. And uh, he's the one that got me started in wastewater and, and created that passion within me. So being able to kind of walk in his footsteps at the same time is a real honor. And I appreciate the, the opportunity to do that. So thank you. We look forward to having you work very well with us. Thank, thank you. you. I will bring it back to the council now. So I'll just make a quick comment. Uh, Cody, I'm, I'm looking forward to, to working with you. I too also moved to the city of Riverbank in 2009. Uh, so we got that in common. Um, I know you have experience with the tertiary uh, plant over in Oakdale. So you're gonna just, uh, you're gonna step into a lot of projects that are upcoming in here uh, in the city of Riverbank. And I guess, welcome home, you can say. Uh, so I'll make a motion to approve item 7.1. I second. We have a motion with the second. Council member Uribe? Yes. Council member Hernandez? Yes. Council member Barbara Martinez? Yes. Vice Mayor Campbell? Yes. Motion passes 4-0. Welcome. 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 Do we have any other business? Okay, then this meeting will be adjourned. Thank you.